It's beer o'clock on Meal Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Nami Slow Pills coming in at 6% ABV. Uh, it's in a green glass bottle. Lovely picture there of the old brewery in Nami Slow. Um, my apologies if I've completely butchered the, the name of your wonderful town here and your wonderful brewery. Uh, there's a look at the bottle cap. Uh, the beer or the brewery is West Poland and it looks like it's about 50 miles away from Warsaw to the east if I'm right I think so nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening beer in the glass pick this up around my local shop Actually, no, I didn't pick it up from my local shop. No, I'm going to tell a lie here. Um, I'll tell you what I got it from. My mate over the road there, uh, he's built a garage. My Polish mate, Dan, um, he bought himself a Volkswagen Golf and he was showing me this old Golf GTI that he's bought and he's doing up. And he was like, oh, I've been round the shop. He went round the shop and, and he bought some Polish lager and he gave me this. That was it. He gave me this bottle of beer. And I've been, I've been dying to get round to it for, well, since Easter, really. So about four weeks, six weeks, something like that, about six weeks. Uh, we've got a one to two finger white head, good levels of carbonation on the beer. A light golden amber coloured lager, light clean filtered lager. Let's get the aroma. Uh, the brewery's owned by Zivich these days. It's got a nice hop character to it, actually. It's uh, definitely a, a stronger pills aroma in terms of the hops that they've used in the beer. It smells quite nice, actually. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh, well, that's clean. That is really clean, really crisp, really refreshing. Um, turn the massive corner, as you all know. I've turned the massive, massive corner with Pilsner's good tasting lagers. When I first got into craft beer 11 years ago, all I could see was these, was these massive conglomerates and they were controlling the beer market. And it kind of made me a little bit kind of anti-corporate beer, if you like. But I think as I've aged and as I've drunk more beer, a lot more beer, like 7,000 plus beers, I've softened, I've softened my stance to the larger companies. And that's only because, let's have another taste. It's really refreshing, really drinkable. Nice and spicy and peppery. Oh, nice and bitter on the back end. But I've seen, I, I, I you know, when I first started, I, I seen these small, relatively small companies. Uh, your brew dogs and your thorn bridges and your magic rocks and and your beaver towns came about with great fanfare um doing great things and then all of a sudden they're bought out by bigger beer or they've as in brew dogs case they've just got bigger and bigger and bigger and the quality of the beer has gone down with all of the breweries i've mentioned the beer quality has gone down so almost feels like I could have just drank big beer anyway because the small companies where I was drinking their great beer at the time their only goal in life was to get to become a massive company so my stance now is yes of course I love drinking great beer great craft beer 
but I'm not going to get too attached to any one company anymore because no, I just don't want to be left disappointed. So I've learned to be a lot more kind of mellow and placid and probably fair, in all honesty, probably fair to these big companies who make big beer. Because I'm standing here and there's, there's nothing wrong with this beer. There's nothing wrong with this beer. There's no off flavours. It's tasty. It's clean. It's crisp. It's refreshing. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's good stuff. A little bit of sweetness from the malt there. That goes over to bitterness. You've got a nice balance to the beer. So you've got the sweetness over here to the beer. You've got the bitterness over here. And it's a very nice balance. It's a very nice balance to the beer. And then you have the back of the label, which is all in Polish. So I'm not going to be able to read too much. Um, about this, no, it's just, uh, yeah, <laughs> no point. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll hold the label for you lovely Polish people who might have tuned in to have a little read, pause the video, have a read. And and I'd like to, I, that building, look at that building, I mean, isn't that fantastic? What a, I bet that was a terrific Terrific brewery back in the day. I bet it's some kind of museum now, or if it's not a museum, it's a big block of flats or something, you know. Because um, more than likely, I can't imagine it still being a brewery. I can imagine that Zivich, who now owns the, the brewery, I imagine that they brew this beer in-house, probably in Zivich. Six percent ABV, no real cut of alcohol there at all. Um, I could drink pint after pint of this, pint after pint after pint of this. It's clean, it's crisp, it's refreshing. It's ideal for um, some beautiful Polish sausage on the barbecue. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's rate it. Good head retention, good drinkability. Nice carbonation, nothing wrong with the beer, nothing kind of, no off flavours, uh, they just they just make consistent, good tasting lager, don't need these breweries. Um, I like it enough to give it a 7 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!